Good morning and welcome to today's English lesson. In fact, today is an English pronunciation lesson, and my name is Anna. Anna English, to be precise, because my middle name is English, and I am in fact English. Yes, I am British English. I live here in England. I'm broadcasting to you live from London. You're watching English Like a Native, and today we're working on a specific diphthong sound. So good morning, everyone who has joined me. I've already been saying a few hellos in the chat room this morning. I'll also say a quick good morning to my patrons. Do I have any patrons in? If you are here, then tell me hello on the Skype group, and I will give you a shout out. Oh, I do. I have Olga. Hello, Olga. How are you? Lovely to see you joining me this morning. So, um, today is an important day here in England. We are voting. We have our general election vote this morning. It is unfortunately a cold and grey day. Typical summer. <laughs> Typical summer day. Hello, Swabek. How are you? Nice for you to join us as well. So, I'm very excited about today, but the reason you're all here is to learn. English pronunciation. Now, whether you're learning British English or American English, all these lessons will help you because there isn't that much difference between British and American pronunciation. Of course, there are differences, but if English is not your first language, then learning British English or American English both will be helpful to you. So, let's have a look at which sound we're looking at today. We are looking at the air sound, air sound. Now, if you are not familiar with a diphthong, a diphthong is two vowel sounds pushed together to make one moving vowel sound. So we have e eh, and we have u, uh, e, eh, u, uh, and they're moved together to make air, air, air. If you can really nail, to nail is to to get it absolutely right. If you can really nail your diphthong sounds, then your British accent or your English accent will really take a step forward. Even natives have trouble sometimes indulging their diphthong sounds. So if you're a native English speaker, then these lessons are going to be particularly helpful for you. Um, okay, so let's get straight into it. Here is the sound, eh, uh. Air, air, air. Let's try it with a few words, shall we? So we have literally the word air, like the air we breathe. Air, air. I was out in the fresh air. I was out in the fresh air. You might be sitting on a chair, chair, chair. And that CH is a sound, okay? Not a shh sound. So we have a nice explosion of air. Ch, chair, chair, with an explosion of air. Let's have a look what else we have. We've got the question, where, where? And an important note is the W is made with rounded lips, w, where? And you'll notice that H is silent. We don't say where, like you may have heard some people do, but that's wrong. We do a w sound. Where? Where were you? And then I've also put as an example word the word bear. Bear. Rawr. Bear. Bear. I saw a huge bear in the woods. Goodness me, where were you? I was in the woods with a bear, of course. <laughs> All right, how are we finding this sound so far? Um, anyone finding this difficult? Anyone have any particular trouble with this sound? People asking about the elections today. Um, I don't know how the election's going. It's quite early on, so we won't have any idea until much later this evening how the election's gone. Um, good, let's carry on then. So, uh, we have our first sentence. Let's try this one. We have, where are their wheelchairs? 
Where are their wheelchairs? Now notice the change in my mouth shape. Where are, nice open, open vowel for the word are. Where are their wheelchairs? Where are their wheelchairs? Where are their wheelchairs? How's that one? Let's try another one, shall we? We must be prepared to share. We must be prepared to share. Let's have a look at that one. We, whoa, 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 whoa. not v like some people do. W, we must, must be prepared, prepared to share. We must be prepared to share. Let's have a look at another one. There's a few questions coming through. I will answer them in just a moment. It isn't fair to square up to him like that. It isn't fair to square up to him like that. A few things to note. It isn't fair to sh square up. Now this word up rather than up or oop, it has to be uh, almost like an A sound. Uh, up, up. It isn't fair to square up to him like that. I mean, I'm saying it very posh now. It isn't fair to square up to him like that. Now, the word square in this case means to be confrontational. If you square up to someone, it's like you're having a disagreement and you come right up to their face. You get really close to them and you stand square on. So you stand facing, absolutely face to face, and you're really close to them, like you want to have a fight. So you're right in their face like this. Hey, what'd you say? What'd you say? <laughs> That's what I see some men doing. I was doing a car boot sale on a Sunday morning the other day, a few Sundays ago, and literally there was a man with a pram and a baby and another man holding some carrying bags and they literally, they had crosswords with each other. They got angry with each other and they squared up to each other going, what are you saying, what are you saying? I was like, crazy people, crazy people on a Sunday morning. So to square up to someone is to be confrontational, to want to have a fight. Okay, anyway, that's enough of that <laughs> silliness. Um, some of you are asking about the difference between their there and there. And actually, they're all the same. So we have this there, as in it belongs to them. There, we have this there, as in which position they're in. And we also have this there, as in they are. They are all pronounced exactly the same. There. TH, tongue between the teeth. There. There. Anyway, let's get to the end. This is supposed to be 10 minutes focused practice and then I can open up and talk more about different things. So, there is a beautiful square where I live. There is a beautiful square where I live. Notice this, this isn't schwa. There is a, there is a, not a. There is a beautiful square where I live. And the next one, is a hare's hair referred to as fur? So a hare is like a rabbit. It's a little animal, very similar to a rabbit. I think it's actually bigger than a rabbit, but it, it basically looks like a rabbit, just a bit bigger. Is a hare's hair, they're exactly the same pronunciation, hare's hair, referred to as fur? And this is a Z, as, as, fur as fur. And the last one, they're considering pairing up. They're considering pairing up. Now, to pair up means to, um, to get together. So, for example, if I'm teaching a group in a classroom, I might say, okay, you need to find a partner. So, find someone and pair up. That means get together to work together, pair up, choose a partner. 
So they're considering pairing up, they're considering working together. And of course, I finish by saying, please like, like this guy here, please like, share and subscribe. If you enjoyed this class, of course, if you find it anyway helpful, if it puts love hearts in your eyes, then please press the thumb up button, share it with as many people as possible. Um, I'm trying to get these lessons out to everyone around the world, anyone who wants help with their English and wants it for free. I'm trying to get it out to them. And if you're not already a subscriber, but you are serious about improving your English, then please do press that subscribe button and the bell notification button so you don't miss any future lessons. Of course, I will be going live tomorrow as well. And tomorrow's lesson is going to be at some point um, late morning, I think. Let me have a quick look at my schedule. Um, 11 a.m. tomorrow is a grammar lesson. So join me for that one. Um, I think it's a grammar lesson anyway. I haven't double checked. So let's see what your questions are. So I've got Schwabach saying beer and bear. So you drink beer, beer, and there is a grizzly bear. Ear, air, ear, air. So different diphthongs there, Schwabach. Please pronounce as soon as possible. As, as soon, as soon, as soon as possible. As soon as possible. I will do it as soon as possible. Okay. And then we have Olga's asking, Mary, oh, you're, you've given us a tongue twister here. This is wonderful. Mary rarely shares her pairs with Claire. Excellent. So Mary is a name and Claire is a name, female names. Mary rarely shares her pairs with Claire. That's fantastic. Fabulous. I like that, Olga. In fact, I might add that to the notes. Um, so there we have bear and beard. Bear and beard. The bear had a beard. Beard. Bear beard. Bear beard. I'm going to add this tongue twister now to these notes. Um, remember, anyone who wants to sponsor this particular video um, with a super chat, if you want to sponsor this video to help this channel to grow, then um, you will get a copy of these notes. And of course, when you're sponsoring these pronunciation classes, then you don't just get these notes, you get the notes from every other pronunciation class that we did covering diphthongs. So just a quick note there for you. If you were considering sending over a super chat, then that is something you would be rewarded with. Mary, oh, in fact, actually, Mary, we do say the R-Y here, so I'll turn that back to black. Mary rarely, air, air, rare, rarely, so there's the diphthong, rarely, shares, there's the diphthong, her, pairs, there's the diphthong, with, T-H there, guys, in the word with, make sure your tongue comes out between the teeth, Claire, Claire, I know a lot of people called Claire. Claire is quite a popular name here in the UK. So Mary rarely shares her pears with Claire. That's not very nice of Mary, is it? <laughs> Wonderful. Okay, let's have a look now what you guys are saying in the chat room. So uh, thank you for that again, Olga. Uh, that was really, really helpful. Um, How do you pronounce mouths? Mouths. So your mouth your mouth, one, but if you have many mouths to feed, for example, if you have four people in your house that you have to feed, you might say, I have many mouths, mouths, it's a hard one, mouths to feed, mouths to feed. Uh, what other questions do we have? How can you pronounce, how do you pronounce rarely exactly? How, oh, how do you pronounce rarely exactly? Rare, rare, Rarely, 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 and exactly, just in case you're wondering about that word as well, exactly. Um, and what else do we have? How do you pronounce noble? Noble. He is a noble man. He is a noble gentleman. Um, I ate cherry and my soul was not scary, says Julia. I ate 
cherry, air, airy. It's a different, it's a different vowel sounds, but fine. Cool. Thank you for um, adding that in. The difference between later, I will see you later, and latter, as in the last thing I mentioned, the latter. Later, latter. One has a diphthong, later, I'll see you later, and latter is a short vowel, a, la, latter. How do you pronounce literally, 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 literally? Um, what else do we have? Lots of smiles, thank you guys. I wonder if we've got lots of thumbs as well. If you are here and enjoying this, then please do give it a thumb up because you know I love a thumb. Um, hello in China. Greetings. Thank you for joining me. Um, ba, 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 ba. Can you make a live lesson um, about the pronunciation of the letter T between two vowels? Um, yes, I'll get there. I'm just working through a list at the moment of all the individual sounds and then I'll start comparing sounds and I'll start doing other problematic um, pronunciation issues. So there are lots to get through, but if you keep tuning in, then it's all going to be helpful for you. Um, how do you pronounce repair? I need to fix my car. I need to repair my car. Repair. How do you pronounce marry? Marry. Different to the name Mary. Mary married me. Mary married me. How do I get a clear pronunciation? What, what should I do, says Jamari um, Castro. Um, clear pronunciation is achieved by regular daily practice, ideally. Um, you need to work up the articulators. You need to get your tongue used to moving into different positions. So you need to work on your enunciation and your, your um, articulation muscles. And then you need to listen a lot and practice speaking a lot in the accent that you want to achieve. I do have a pronunciation course, um, I don't talk about this very often, but I do have a pronunciation course for anyone who is interested in a standard English accent. They want to sound like me. I have a pronunciation course, it's about four hours worth of, um, four hours worth of uh, video tutorials and um, exercises to help you get an accent like me. Um, if you are interested in that course, the link is in the description of this video, um, britishenglishpro.com. Oh, Julia, thank you so much. So Julia has sent a super chat. So Julia, I will be sending over to you the um, notes for this lesson. So thank you very much. Um, all support to this channel goes into one big pot and it goes towards helping me to afford better internet, which I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get hold of next month. It goes towards buying better equipment. It goes towards helping me to do this on a regular basis because this is my full-time job. Um, so thank you, Julia. You're always such a wonderful support. Much appreciated. So we have um, orientation, says Heikage. Heikage. I don't think I'm saying that right, but thank you very much. Orientation is the word. And we have the word um, engineer. Jamie's asked for the pronunciation of engineer. If you are an engineer... Um, okay, Olga's got a request, a few requests. Could you please pronounce these words with the vowel sounds, which are classified according to their place and manner of articulation? So we have um, need, think, took, who, when, about, learn, more, have, much, large, not, and the diphthongs, here, came, during, coin, coat, wear, fine, loud. I hope that helps. Okay, um, so I think that's about time for me to say goodbye. Um, oh, no, I have a few more requests here. Um, Vowel. Vow is pronounced like vowel. So when you get married, you take a vow. Um, there's other times where you might vow, you promise to do something, and it's pronounced like vowel. Yes. Hello. Could you say hello, Bella? <laughs> hello, Bella. <laughs> um, whole. So if, you, if something is full, it is whole. In the W is a silent letter. Whole. I, I swallowed it whole. Gulp. 
Um, arachnophobia, the fear of spiders. Arachnophobia, arachnophobia. Do you suffer from arachnophobia? Um, literature, says Sandra. Literature, literature. Um, Musab, literally, literally. Julia, gleefully, gleefully. And um, any others? Um, Tomas has um, written gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You are gorgeous. You're all gorgeous. You look amazing today, by the way. Gorgeous. Okay, well, um, okay, very last one. I have economics, economics, economics. Fabulous. Um, oh, and Sky, iron, iron, or ion, ion, and infrared, infrared, infrared. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me. Um, uh, one more come through. <laughs> I'm never going to get away. Um, the word climb is a silent B. Climb. I've heard actually lots of people saying clamb, but it's not. It's climb. Climb. Okay. Uh, guys, I will possibly do, very possibly do, a, um, a long pronunciation class at the weekend. And possibly I will do it on Facebook. I don't know. Um, it really depends how much I can get through my work this weekend. I really appreciate you joining me here. If you have enjoyed this, then please make sure you've subscribed and that you press the like button. Um, as always, my focus is to bring English language classes to as many people around the world as possible. People who can afford classes, who can't afford classes, people who just want an extra little bit of help. I want everyone to have the ability to learn English, no matter what their circumstances. Um, you can help me. You can help me simply by being here and watching my, my videos. You can help me by subscribing and by liking because that helps YouTube to know that they should promote my videos. You can help me by sharing my videos with your social groups, with your students, if you teach, with your friends, if you don't, um, with your family or anyone you know would be interested um, in forums or chat groups that you're in. If you want to help a little bit more, then you could provide your language to my videos. So I'm always looking for translators. Um, and so if you want to see my videos with um, your language on, so the titles, descriptions and subtitles can be translated into your language. I've already had so many people who've come forward and helped me to translate some of my videos. So thank you for those of you who have done that. I do have hundreds of videos on this channel. Um, so if you could even spare five, ten minutes just translating some of my titles into your language, that would be so much appreciated. If you can do that, it would be very helpful for your countrymen. If you can do that, then the link to do it is in the description of this video. And um, I would be eternally grateful, as will, I'm sure, the people whose English isn't such a high level who are watching this and they're from your country. I'm sure they would really appreciate that translation. So if you can help in that respect, that would make a big difference to helping to bring these videos to your country. Um, and if you want to help in, in more ways, and you want to help me to grow this channel faster, help me with equipment costs, with um, streaming costs, because obviously this quality isn't very good. I'd like to go higher quality. I'd like to come on more often. I'd like to have a team to help me. If you think you can help in a, in a stronger way, then I would encourage you to look at joining the Patreon team. I have a wonderful team so far who are super supportive. In return, they get my, um, my attention during live lessons. Some of them get Skype calls. They get access to notes from my lessons. They get um, early access to all my videos. And so they're rewarded for their support. But if you feel you can... Um, if you're in a, in, a, in a position to join that team, then the link for the Patreon, the Patreon page is in the description box below. Okay, so um, if you're interested in grammar, aren't we all? I think I'm doing a grammar lesson tomorrow. I can't remember. In fact, let me have a look at my, let me have a look at my notes and I'll tell you exactly what we're doing tomorrow. Da, 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 da. Oh, we're doing a great lesson tomorrow. We're doing writing formal emails. So if you ever have to write a formal email, then perhaps tomorrow will be the lesson for you. So tomorrow, 11 o'clock, 
right here, I will be going through how to write a formal email. Of course, a lot of the practice will be with my patrons. So patrons, make sure you're here. So we've got lots of things to be correcting with you. And um, otherwise, I look forward to seeing all of you tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Take care. Have a lovely day. Um, mwah, you're all lovely. Enjoy your day. I'll speak to you soon. Fingers crossed for the election that everybody votes here in the UK and we get a good result. Um, I hope you have a lovely day in your country, wherever you're watching from.